Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have discussed about the things with you, how can you include our this sidebar part, right? So now in this video, I want to discuss about that logout portion. So before that was actually default one. So if you want to find out that default one, if you go to your project file, into the project file, if you go to our um, that view page and there is a navigation. So when you install that Laravel default authentication system, then it's actually provided this file as a navigation drop down and as a dashboard, right? So into this position here, if you go, so before we have already logged out, you can see there is also by default one of the route as a logout route. So friend, this logout route is a default one. So right now I also want to do, I want to actually create new one for our this theme. So if you want to do that work, uh, right now, first of all, we have to do, we have to find out our appropriate this file location. So that means into the theme area, there is on the logout button. So here I want to do and to put one of the route for this one. So here, if you want to find out that location that is in our master, that is our admin master, maybe if you go, that is our admin master into the admin master. I have already loaded all the CSS. I have included our sidebar and that is our main part, right? So that is our main uh, header part. And uh, here, um, here you can see that is actually our main part. So there is a project, the account setting, and there is a logout. That means that is our project account setting and the logout, right? So here I want to do and to add one of the route for this one. So if you want to do that work, uh, like that is our um, logout. So here I want to do and to add one of the route. So it will be just like that same before uh, what exactly I did a lot of the time as a route. I hope you already remember that part in the route area. I want to do and to create one of the route. Okay. So here I name it as a route as a user dot logout. So whatever you want. So right now I want to use as a user a dot logout. Okay, so here we have to do we have to create this uh, route. So if you want to create this route, go to our web route. So here, uh, better after this. Okay, after this, I want to create one of the another route. So better I copy it, and here I paste it. So it will be as a get method, and then I name it as user, user, and then logout. Okay, it will be as a user logout and right now into the brand controller, I want to create this method. I want to create one of the method as a logout. Okay, you can also create one of the new controller and here we have to add this controller. So right now it's okay with me into the brand controller. I want to create one of the method as a logout and then our route name. So here I have declared the route name. It will be, it will be as a user logout. I copy it and now here I want to do and to change it. It will be as a user logout. Right friends, so now we have to do, we have to create our this logout method into the brand controller. So now if you go to our brand controller, that means our HTTP and there is our controller into the brand controller. So here I want to do, I want to create one of the new method. That means here after this, I name it as a public and then function and then our method name as a user logout. That means a logout method. So here friend, you don't need to do anything. Everything is ready made. Like here, only you have to do, I name as a auth. Okay, that means the auth. So with this auth, uh, they have also one of the by default, one of the route uh, function as a logout. So I want to do, I want to declare that logout. Okay, that means that logout. That means authenticated user, that means which user is already logged in, this user will be as a logout. Okay, so here I only want to do and to add this functionality and after that I want to do and to return it. That means the return and then redirect. Okay, that means return redirect and you can also make it as a, that means when it will be um, log out, then it will be return redirect to our specific another page. It will be return redirect to our logging page. Okay, that is also another default route as a login. So here I want to do, it will be return redirect to our logging. That means it will be return redirect to our locking route. And also here I want to do want to make uh, if you want to show some of the message, you can ma message it with right. I have already you, I have already discussed about that things with you here. You have to pass one of the ID. So I name it as a success and then your message. So what are the message you actually put like it should be displayed as a user logout. Okay, this will be displayed this type of one of the name message name as a user logout. 
so friend this the uh, auth as i told you is automatically by default ready made one of the midi lawyer that means here if you go to that our http midi lawyer and you can see there is an authenticated midi lawyer so into the authenticated midi lawyer that is actually the by default is created okay that means when this user is a log out you can see it's not return redirect to the logging page before so right now i want to do i want to also add this functionality to the logging and also if you go to the, into the media layer if you go to that kernel into the kernel here you can see friend by default that is also created as a auth as i told you friend that is our http the media layer authentication on the class so that is one of the by default media layer as a auth okay so here i want i want to do and actually use this auth so with this auth as i told it should be find out this user is authenticated that means user is logging or not so if this user is logging that automatically you should be written um, will be as a logout so that is actually by default all that route that is a logout and also that is a logging so if you want to check it uh, here if you open and if you run with the cmd and that is php artisan and then if you run with the, uh, check that all the route list as a route and then list if you click as enter now you can see friend all the default route is now here that means over the default route and also here we have created some of the route so every route you will get in particular that area so here you can see there is a by default as a forget password that is also one of the route is created and also there is another one as a post uh, for the locking you can see there's locking is also created so everything is default one okay so for right now i'm actually using this logging and also you can see there is the logout so every route is uh, default that means when you install that laravel default authentication system every route is created so here i just simply call that route so here i have created um, create that uh, load our this route as a logging that means it should be authenticated user will be log out and it should be returned redirect to our logging page so perfect so that's all you have to do so now let's check this out if you now click as a save all I click as a save all and now go here and refresh it. So now I want to do right now I'm already logged in. So if you now click as a here and here I have already put on of the URL. I can see it's not showing as a user logout. So if you click as a logout and now here you can see friend it's not showing as the app HTTP controller auth not found. Okay, it means actually if you get this error, that means here I'm using that auth. So if you want to use that auth here, you have to do you have to also use it. You can see I didn't use that or this auth on here. So here simply use that auth as use and then auth. So here make that sure you use this auth. Okay. So here right now I'm actually using this authentication. So here you have to also use this auth. So here I'm using that auth. So right now perfect. So now if you click as a save all. So if you get any error, find out that why exactly it's actually meanings. Okay, that means why this error actually generated. So right now I'm using it. So now if you um, go back and refresh it again. And now go here and now click as a logout. Yes, you can see friend right now we are successfully logged out. So here I have already declared that part into the our this method area that means logout method area when this user is authenticated that this authenticated user will be logged out and who after that logout it will be returned redirect to our another default route as a logging. Okay, so that is the locking. You can see it's now perfectly written direct to our logging page. So if you put your appropriate email address and the password, click as a login. And after that logging, it will be written direct to our dashboard page. So from here, right now, you can log out. See so if you click as a log out. So it's successfully logged out. I hope you enjoyed very much, friend. So how you can create that logout functionality? I hope it's very much clear to you. So in our next video, that is our default uh, locking panel that means when you install that laravel laravel actually provided this type of one of the locking panel so that is the jd stream panel so right now i want to do i want to actually change it here i want to load our theme into the theme area they have also one of the logging page so if you want to change it how can change it in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video